Hey, so I think a fried egg makes everything better. <laughs> am I right or am I right? First, grab yourself any sausage you like. I have an eight ounce hot Italian sausage and we're gonna remove the casing with a knife. I'm making two four ounce sausage patties that I weighed out on a scale. And I only needed the one sausage, so you may need another sausage depending on the size you buy. I'm making two burgers today, so form your burger patties with your hands. And if you like, you can use some wax paper to place the patties in between until you're ready to cook. Next, we are coarsely grating 50 to 60 grams of Fontina cheese. If you've been following me, you know that I've used sausage and Fontina before in other recipes, and I love the two together. Place the grated cheese in a bowl and then just set aside. Grab one ripe avocado. You can check under the stem and if it's green, usually they're ripe, but I always just give my avocados a bit of a feel. You don't want something that's too mushy when you press it. You just want a bit of give. With a knife, carefully slice around the avocado and twist to reveal the pit. And then place the avocado with the pit in one hand with a dish towel. Give it a grip and with your knife, hit the pit with one swift motion. Twist and remove the pit and then with your thumb and index finger, grip the knife and get as close to the pit as you can and pinch and the pit should just fall right off. Scoop out the flesh with a spoon into a bowl and then with a fork, mash the avocado to your liking, smooth, chunky, or a little bit of both. Add the juice of half a lime and then season with salt and freshly cracked pepper and then just give a mix. Next up is the bomba mayo. You all should know by now how to make it if you've been following me. This is my version of Italian mac sauce. Equal parts mayonnaise and bomba, two tablespoons of each, and then just give a nice mix. In a pan on medium to high heat, you can add just a little bit of canola oil if you want to the pan just before you add the sausage patty, but there should be enough fat in the sausage to help keep it from sticking. Place the sausage patty down and give it a nice firm press and then cook for about three to four minutes. Give a flip and now place some of the fontina over the patty, not worrying if some falls over because you're gonna get a nice crispy cheese skirt. Then let the sausage cook for another three to four minutes or when fully cooked, 160 degrees Fahrenheit. You can place a lid over the pan to help melt the cheese as well. Once done, remove to a plate and then toast your brioche buns in the same pan. I always go on the lighter side of toasting, but that's just my preference. Now we can fry our egg, add one tablespoon of butter, crack your egg into the pan. We're going for sunny side up or over easy because we want runny yolk, but you can cook the yolk fully if you aren't a fan. Season with salt and freshly cracked pepper. Sometimes with sunny side up, the whites don't fully set close to the yolk. So just add a splash of water in the pan and then cover with a lid. And about 30 seconds later, everything should be cooked and looking like a beautiful fried egg. Time to build this burger. Add a dollop of avocado mash on the bottom half of the bun then add the sausage patty on top, the perfectly cooked fried egg, and then add a healthy amount of bomba mayo on the top half bun, and there you go. There you go. There you go. And go. A yolky waterfall. Okay, so this should either kickstart your day and get you out of bed or put you right back in it. I love the idea of the sausage patty. It saves you time and it's packed with flavor. So I hope you give this a go. And as always, the full recipe's in the description below. There's a link for my website as well. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.